Hi everybody, it's Cindy Russell with Runs with Scissors and Chalk and um, I'm here tonight, I'm gonna show you my um, Club Couture. This is the monthly subscription club you can join. Um, this is the envelope, it actually comes in. They place it in the mailbox and we're gonna open it up and change my board from last month, change it out. Hi Carol Linden, I see you popped on. I'm going to switch you guys down to my workspace. Let's see. How's that? Are you centered? Okay. So, uh, this was last month's Club Couture. It was the typewriter. And I still have the transfer. And if I ever desire to put it back, I can put it back. Um, I went ahead and put some flowers on here. And I'm going to share how I did this. I used... Um, uh, a neodymium magnum magnet, which is a super strong magnet because these magnets are so strong and I wanted to be able to peel it off the the board without too much trouble. I use the disc that they send them in just to make sure I could get it up off the, the board. So these are um, wood flowers that I um, just hot glued to the magnet and I can use them on the next board. We'll see how it looks. Also today, I'm gonna to show you how to use um, the paste scraper. So on the chalkboard surfaces, I'm gonna wet the paste a little bit. And scrape the paste. There we go. Cut my design up pretty easily. Um, I grabbed paper towels. What did I do with them? I dropped them. They're on the floor. Okay. So I'm going to quick pick up my paste remnants. I'm going to pick these up this way. Um, I have a board eraser here and I'm going to go over it. I can see I have the the halo hanging out there. I'm going to do colors close to what we used, close to the typewriter colors. And I didn't do the typewriter with you. I did that on my own. Got, I got that little bit of hazing. I'm going to use my board cleaner just to make sure I get rid of any uh, leftover chalk. All right, look, you can see I got some up. I'm gonna drop that in my bin. I'm gonna use my paper towel again. See how easy that came off? Um, this is an Aiden board and they are my favorite boards. Um, I think they look good and uh, they're well made. They're real wood. It's a chalkboard, it's a magnetic chalkboard surface. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. Okay, so let's open, which I haven't even opened it. I know what it is because I've seen it on online, but you may be surprised. So this month's transfer is Love Conquers All. And it's got a little bit of a busy design there. I'm gonna grab my fuzzing cloth, put my fuzzing cloth down. Let that board dry. I'm going to open the packet. Gosh, next week. Next week's June. Is that craziness? Hard to believe. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's June. And it's still chilly tonight, too. I was complaining last night about the temperature. I think it was... 56 when I came down here yesterday. Uh, it's not that cold upstairs, but it's pretty cold. Um, because this is a new transfer, I definitely need to use a fuzzing cloth or something. Jeans, sweatshirt, something to, to do to, um, you know, defuzz it a little bit. And um, it will stick to the, to the chalkboard surface. It's going to want to grab it. 
So I'm gonna fuzz this a bunch of times. If you're doing fabric, you don't wanna fuzz because you want that um, adhesion, you want it to stick. I haven't done ink. I know Melissa has asked me to do ink. I have it, I bought it. I have it here, I just haven't. Maybe we'll make that on our, make that one of our goals for this week is to do, is to do this. So the pastes I'm using today, Peachy Keen, which is a light pink, and I, I wanna use my flowers again, so I'm trying to stay in my, the same family as the flowers. This is Sea Foam, which is a light, light green, and I grabbed white, can't go wrong with white, so we may be using a little bit of white in here, we'll see. Let's see what we come up with. I'm not rehearse this, so this is, what you see is what you get here. figure if I have problems, we'll work through it. Go from there. Okay. All right. Transfer. Let's get you kind of bowed. There we go. I have, I think, five, five or six club members right now. Um, so girls, when you're chalking with these, send pictures. Show us what you got. I'd love to see it. Okay, there we go. I still have a bubble in here I want to get rid of. Mm, good enough for government work. All right, I think I'm going to do the green, green. Um, we'll do this, the peachy can, and maybe conquers in white to tie in the, the border. Um, these are not new paste, but I haven't used them in a while this color specifically. Here's my very, my very technical mason jar. Stirring the paste. This is nice and it gets foamy. It's kind of funny, but it gets foamy in there. All right, so let's do, I'm gonna do love and all in the green. I think I can do the others in pink. All right, I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna be bold. I just got it on my frame, but that's okay. All right, let's do this side. Okay, let's see. A little bit left over, put it back in the jar. All right, so let's do the bottom. I did see somebody do a, actually it was a little girl, somebody's nine-year-old was chalking and did um, like an ombre. Looked good, she had the rainbow going. It did look good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is peel up, I'm gonna put the lid on this. I don't think I'm using that color anymore, I'm just gonna put it over. I'm gonna peel from the top and I have to do it before it dries in the in the transfer in the silk screen. And I'll clean that edge up. I'm not worried about that at all. And I'm gonna hold this for a minute. Sorry if I just shook the whole table. Let those dry. Notice I'm working very hard not to stick the two sticky ends together. The um, transfers, if they do stick together, which does happen, especially when you're working with the larger transfers, wet it, put it in cold water, you know, temp it water, put it in, let it get wet, and you should be able to separate, you should be able to pull it apart to separate it. Um, if you tear it, you're gonna stretch the transfer, which affects the quality of the, of the silk screen. All right, let's do, switch to the peach. And I am stirring over my project and I will say that um, if you can help it, you at home don't wanna stir over the project. I'm doing it because that's where my camera is. Um, adding some water. 
it's just a good idea not to stir over it, especially if you're working with the inks because it will stain. There's no coming back from that. Unless you dye the whole thing that color. <laughs> Peachy Keen. I don't think I've used this for you guys yet. So, and it's funny how the different colors have different textures, isn't it? Um, I think that I want to start at the skinny end and work my way. Same thing on this side. I'm going to start at the smaller end. I'm also going to use a smaller uh, squeegee. I have two sizes, small and mini. I'm using the mini. Okay. Let's see. Did I get it? These are really tight. All right, I'm going to put paste back before I drop it on the... Perfect. I was trying to hit that one little dot. All right, let's see. I might even need to get a smaller, smaller thing out. Let's see. Um, if you're if if you're doing something and it would be a big deal if you crossed over into the other, you know, if it's really going to bother you, you could always use like washi tape or painters tape or something to something to keep you from. Um, chalking. All right. I'm going to quick pull this up just so I can separate it. And I'm going to do this side too. Just pulling the paste through the transfer. There we go. All right, still sticky to me. I'm gonna put these off to the side and the white, which is the one we use all the time. Looks like a snowball, looks like marshmallow on a snowball. Have you had snowballs yet this season? I know they're open. I have not been. <laughs> it, it was warm one day. I think it was 80. I think it's supposed to rain this weekend. Um, and do you have big plans for the holiday weekend? Mine would, my answer to that would be no, I don't. I will be here. Probably doing what I'm doing right now. Okay, let's, let's see. All right. I might get a little bit of ombre unintended. <laughs> that would be okay with me. I'm not getting upset by it. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put that back because it doesn't look like I contaminated it. Pull this. Um, I didn't say before I started, but I have my little tub of water on the floor by my feet. Ta-da! Look at that. Came out cute. Love conquers all. And let it dry. Give it a chance to set here. And then I do think I am gonna put my my flowers back on it. I really do like the way these look. They just add a little something. Ah. Whoops. <laughs> and I unglued it. Look at that. See that's why. I put that thing under it. It is so magnetic. All right, well, I will be breaking my hot glue gun out and fixing my fixing my magnet to my flowers again. And um, I will be using the ring to keep it from, from being so magnetic, sticking to it. Anyway, it came out cute. Let's see. Oh, I need to clean up the little goober at the bottom. And again, not a big deal. You just wipe it up. Did I get it all? I don't have the best angle here. But anyway, this sits up in my living room. 
so it's kind of nice to change it. All right, I'm coming back up. Let's bring you back up. Top. Hey. Hi, everybody. Anyway, came out, came out cute. It's a pretty good size, nine by 12. And uh, I will fix my flowers and we'll be putting the flowers up in this corner, I think. Hmm. I like it. I like it. All right, well, if you don't belong to the club, um, it is $19 a month. Um, you get a different transfer. It ships um, at the beginning of the month, and usually mine's here by the 9th. And um, with the customers, you get the pace packs. So you'll get whatever pace packs for that particular. Usually it's three um, pace packs, and then they send... Um, a squeegee so you have everything you need to need to do it if you sign up for this I highly recommend the kickstart kit um, which is another $60 but it gives you gives you all the materials that you need to do it it gives you the frame to work on and um, and all the things and you can only order it that first time you sign up once you once you um, join the club you can't go back and reorder it and actually when I was a new designer I wish I'd known that because I would have ordered the kickstart kit to come with my stuff so anyway all right project for tonight um i am gonna do i am gonna do i promise cross my heart i will do an ink pillowcase um i do have a t-shirt to do too I, I will ink something this week and um and we'll go from there all right good seeing you guys thanks for watching and replay and i will see you tomorrow bye